Hello everyone, this is Iqbal Khan and today I will be working on my willow trees. There are three of them in that black plastic tray which is filled with water. This tree is at the back of the tray and it's uh, got very very tall. It's taller than me and it was given to me in 2014 by uh, Bobby Lane. He's got a YouTube channel, you may care to check him out. And he also grows trees in uh, his allotment garden in the, uh, in the ground. I will take the trees individually to my workstation and start working on them. Welcome to Mick Bonsai. Stay tuned. Hey, it's me, Iqbal Khan. If you have not yet subscribed to Mick Bonsai, then click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to subscribe and receive notifications as I upload new videos. This is the first of the willow trees and uh, it was last uh, worked on in August 2017 and uh, since then um, some of the branches have died back and uh, the trunk has actually turned from a mature yellow color to this dark bark uh, which the trees usually tend to have. I'm going to clean up the uh, weeds and then we'll catch up just tidy up a little bit so we can see more of the trunk and the rest of the tree there's quite a few weeds here so we'll clean this up and then we'll catch up i've cleaned up the pot of all the weeds and uh, this is what it looks like and we'll close up on the trunk i'm quite pleased with the change in color of the bark of the Branch. This was a branch cutting and at the top here still is a bit yellowy greeny color and the stone I had put in as a little part of a brick this is a stone actually uh, to hold the tree up straight so it's established now so we'll take the uh, stone out and uh, also move some of the soil back from the around the so base of the tree and there is a bit of a flare here at the where, the where the trunk comes out of the soil. I have removed all the weeds and this is what it looks like without the weeds and uh, I'm quite pleased with the trunk, the change in color and maturing of the bark. It was yellowy greeny color before and uh, this is where the dieback was and I would uh, basically done a little bit of carving here and uh, so going the other way. There is dieback of the branches, it happens with uh, weeping willows and I will start removing the dead branches, that's the first one and then around here, that's dead around here this this is dead so I'll remove that flush with the branch above and likewise around here and also this branch here this is quite big it's dead so it's got to come off this branch here is also died back so we'll remove it to about there where it's died from and now we are left with uh, the branches just still alive. I will have a little look at the tree and decide how far back I want to prune it so I'm going to give it a little bit of thought before I dive in. I've given it some thought and uh, the tree is uh, growing a lot more to the left hand side than it is to the right hand side as we look at it. So I'm going to reduce the length of the branches on the left and what I'm going to do is to start with prune this branch to about there. That's the start and then have another look and prune it a bit more. I have uh, tied a few guy wires to the pot and I'm going to use them to reposition some of the branches. I've also put a bit of raffia here to uh, prevent marking of the branch by the wire is quite thin and sharp so we'll bring these as far down as I can without breaking them 
Sen Lelbit Mo. Lelbit Bit Mo of a Posh. I think that's probably as far as I'm going to go. And then tighten this up here. Like so. And repeat the process with this branch here. There's a bit of a dead stump here. So I'm going to tie the next wire onto the dead stump. We'll try and sort of focus in so you can see what's going on. The second guy wire is going to go onto this stump. So I'll just bring it down a bit. And I'm not using raffia because it's dying back so it's not going to matter very much. Next is this branch and we'll do the same with this one. So bring it as far down as I possibly can to about there and uh, just secure it to there like that. Some of the branches I'm lightly wiring such as this one to reposition it and it's quite young so this is the time to do it otherwise once it gets thicker it becomes more difficult and requires a thicker wire and again it'll be removed sort of fairly promptly I'll keep checking on it to make sure that it's not marking the moment I see any marks I will remove it this branch is growing inwards it's quite uh, thin and I will lightly wire it and reposition it and uh, that will start growing in the direction that I want it to. So just wire it up. Now these willows, weeping willow trees, they grow uh, near water, edges of lakes, rivers and also when you see a weeping willow uh, with no water around, usually there's a underground spring where it gets its water from they prefer to be near water and the roots actually grow in water and that is why we keep uh, the uh, pots in uh, trays of water so that yep there we go so that's done so that's facing in the right direction also starting to go downwards as the others are I will also do something with this one, this branch. I will also be doing something with this branch as it is going in the wrong direction. So I've got to try and bring it out and down. And this one also take it down a bit more. So we'll work on these two now. On the on these two. These two branches are again growing back towards the trunk from this from the end of this branch and uh, I've lightly wired it so we're just going to gently bring it round like this and put it in a weeping position and we'll do the same with this one it's very very lightly wired and uh, bring it as much as I can to this position here and also uh, turning to the rest of it. I think I'm happy with uh, what we've achieved. This is a dead stump so we will remove that and like so just make another cut so when it heals it's uh, flush. This is a concave cutter branch cutter so it cuts into the so far trunk of the tree or the branch of the tree wherever the branch is being removed so that's the concave cutter which does the job quite nicely I'm applying bone paste where I've uh, got large sort of uh, cuts it's not large but nevertheless it weeps so There we are, that's covered that up. And uh, we'll zoom out a little and I want to show this side of the tree, the right hand side of the tree. 
Right, this this side of the tree died. I'm working on the dead bark. This is dead. This side of the tree has died and I'm removing the dead bark and uh, also expose it to the point where it has started to callous over and that will basically help it to cover up this. It'll take a long time, many many years, but uh, that's what is happening down here. I'll just remove this part. Maybe as you can see, so this side died and uh, so I've just cleaned this part here. This is a side of the tree that died from here right at the back and then all the way back here. And I've cleaned up from here to here. I've removed the dead bark and it's already started callousing from this side and this side. It'll take a few years before it joins up and uh, we'll zoom out and uh, Take it closer. The bark of the tree is uh, maturing quite nicely. It was all this color of this, these branches, uh, yellowy green, and it's uh, turned sort of brown and it, in places it's cracked where the tree is growing and expanding. The, branch, uh, the bark tends to crack and uh, we'll zoom out and have a look at the full tree. I'm waiting for the planes to go and then we'll get started. Well, there's the tree in full view and I'll give it a quick turn and we are looking at the dead part here and I've repositioned some of these branches, bit of raffia, guy wires and uh, this was uh, grown from a branch taken from a willow tree by Wojak and uh, that was back in summer of around yeah, summer of 2014, so it's five years, it's taken five years to get uh, thus far. And I'll go the other way. And I will now basically put it to one side and when I've finished working on all my trees, I will place them in a tray but with water. But before I do that, I tend to I add powdered fertilizer 10 10 10 which is balanced feed and uh, that seems to do the trick. This is the next tree which is uh, grown from a very thin of cutting. It was the cutting was as thin as this. This has died so I'll remove that and uh, it uh, was given to me by Bobby Lane. Uh, he has a YouTube channel and you can check him out. He lives in southeast London and he also grows trees in his allotment in the ground. And bulk of his trees are on his balcony. So interesting what he does. And But this was from him and these are the roots which had grown into the uh, pot. And the actual pot that it was in broke. So it's, the roots are all over the place. So I will, I will remove these roots and tidy up before we go any further. This tree was in a terracotta pot which broke and now I've chosen this pot again, another terracotta pot, slightly larger than the previous one and I've placed a wire mesh inside and I'm going to cover it up with uh, horticultural grit to hold it down and uh, then um, I'm just going to work, do a little bit work on the 
or on the roots and firstly remove this uh, dead branch from down here Previously there was a dead branch here slightly above that which was removed and this tree is incredibly tall it's taller than I am and I'll try and show you somehow that is how tall it is it's about seven to eight foot tall it's taller than me and I'm going to reduce it very very considerably now that the trunk has thickened somewhat I'm going to tidy up the roots as best as I can and we'll just remove some of this soil and moss up here the roots have gone round the pot and some of them are quite thick so I may have to cut these thick roots Worms, but in there they don't do any harm. In fact, they shift the soil around. It's quite difficult to work with, so I'm going to have to reduce the height of the tree, and we'll try and sort of zoom out and reduce it, and then I'll be able to work it. Looking at the trunk of the tree, I think up is quite interesting up here there's a few bins and these are quite natural so I will do a trunk chop to about here reduce it to about there like this I want yeah we can do it to here to about here And this is the amount I've taken off, which is virtually the same height as me. And uh, then there's another bit here, which added to the height. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick these into uh, water and root them and see what to do with them. We'll, we'll sort that out afterwards. So I'm going to leave it to one side and continue working on the stump and the rest of the tree. And I'm going to quickly apply some wound paste to the cut so that the dye back doesn't go too far Right, that's the wound paste done, the excess roots, and we'll now just do a little bit of fine tuning. We'll cut this back to about there, where it starts to bend. So I'll remove that part to there. And uh, the same with these thick roots here. So this is turning on itself, so remove that. And up here I'm going to take this down a bit. We're going to pull the tree out of the soil so that the more of the trunk is exposed. And also shorten some of this remaining long branches also shorten some of these long roots and 
and it's ready to go into its new mega pot. another thick root it's not doing very much for the tree same thing here right I think that's done so I now will get the pot and uh, also get some soil and pot it up so is the tree so we will put some uh, bonsai soil mix at the bottom and then check the height to where I want to plant it a little bit more and that's the height where I want it to sit we'll cover it up with more soil drive the soil in between the roots where I removed the old soil and it's going down quite quickly so it shouldn't take long So we are virtually there, so I will now water it and then place it in a tray which I'll fill with fresh water and 10-10-10 uh, powder fertilizer, dissolve it in and then place the trees in the tray. So that's the second one done. I have two more willow trees, one a smaller size and one a real giant one and I'll be working on those in the coming weeks. Thanks for watching. That's all for now, folks. Until the next time. This is Iqbal Khan for Mick Bonsai in West London.